Hello, my name is Alan Jackson from Weight Management Centre and I would like to introduce a few ideas on how to raise the issue of weight with your clients in an empathic and productive way. If the purpose of your client consultation is not weight related, it may feel awkward or uncomfortable to raise the issue of their weight, particularly if they are very overweight. However, this opportunity has the potential to become a highly therapeutic intervention. Of course, the starting point needs to be an association between their weight and their condition. There will be little point of raising the issue of weight to help combat rheumatoid arthritis, for instance, as there is no link, and therefore, why would you mention their weight? But where their weight has a detrimental impact upon their condition, or risks further disorders, a conversation about weight may offer a timely opportunity to support positive change. Consider Frank, who is visiting you as a result of his intermittent gout. Once you have completed your consultation, you may wish to initiate a conversation by saying something like, So Frank, I hope you don't mind me asking, but do you have any thoughts about your weight and how it might affect your gout? This puts the issue of weight with Frank and allows him to consider his weight in the context of his ailment. By linking his weight to his condition, you have given it clinical legitimacy. Frank may say that he has no concerns with his weight, in which case you could say, well, would you mind if I shared with you the link between gout and being overweight? By being overweight, you are at increased risk of episodes of gout. And I'm fairly sure that if you did lose some weight, this would greatly help your condition. How would you feel about trying to lose some weight? If Frank is receptive, you can discuss how best to go about this. Or Frank may already have linked his weight to his condition and may say, I have noticed that over the years, as my weight has increased, my gout has got worse. In this case, you can validate his concern and set about a conversation and the best way to start would be simply to say, so Frank, knowing yourself as you do, what do you think would be the best changes to consider in order for you to successfully lose some weight? The idea of course, is that each of us knows what we ought to do, but we just haven't got round to doing it because of all the reasons not to. The goal is to get Frank to make suggestions that he thinks will work. He may say, well, I probably need to start by drinking less beer. And you could say, I'm sure this will help improve your gout and lead to weight loss also. So that's a really good starting point. And then you can say, what do you currently drink? And what do you think would be a good reduction target? This will help to make Frank's goals specific and measurable. You could then say, is there anything else that you think would help? Of course, you're trying to guide Frank to include both dietary changes and increases in his levels of physical activity. And so you could prompt him if he misses one of these out. You could say, do you think becoming more active would be helpful? If so, what activities do you think you would enjoy? You may want to write down Frank's suggestions, which validate them and help to turn them into a working plan. You can finalize your conversation by saying, a good weight loss target would be a half to one pound of weight loss each week. And what do you think a good overall target would be? In this way, you can help Frank to keep his goals achievable and also set a time frame for them. Don't forget that there may well be weight loss services provided in your area, either commercial services or locally funded programs, in which case now would be a really good time to provide Frank with such information. We hope that you found this useful and thank you for watching.